Well, what a week it's been. A 4-0 away victory and the star man is staying. Let's hope we can cash in on three points today. Hello everyone and welcome back to Match Day with Max. It's been a while here at a very cold city ground. The mist really is rolling in from the Trent. The Reds come into today's game full of confidence after a 4-0 away victory over Queen's Park Rangers. And the Bluebirds come into today's game too unbeaten since the arrival of new manager Neil Harris after Neil Warnock departed the club. Let's hope that Forrest can get another three points today and move closer to those top spots. Come on you Reds! I'm here with some Cardiff fans before the game. Um, it's been quite a busy few weeks for Cardiff. You, uh, well, Neil Warnock left the club and now you've got Neil Harris. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, let's see how he goes. That's what I think. Give him a go. Ambitious manager. See how he starts. Were you sad to see uh, Neil Warnock go after he, well, he did get you up to the Premier League or do you think it was right for a change? Uh, a bit disappointed by the results really. Uh, weren't, uh, the performances weren't there really so we needed time for change I think. So. See how it goes now. How do you think you're going to get on against Forest today? We're kind of high flying and we're looking to get closer to the top spots, whereas Cardiff a bit down the table. Um, do you think you can get three points today against Forest? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Always confident. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll take a point to be honest, but we're only, I think, four points off the top six, so we're, we're not too far away, so I'll take a point. All right, thanks very much, guys. Awesome, and, Good luck. And enjoy the game. Cheers. I'm here with Michael before the game. Michael, it's freezing cold today. So cold. Um, are you hoping that Forrest can get three points? Yeah, I think so. I hope so. The weather conditions suggest that there won't be any long ball football, which is a good thing, uh, especially with Cardiff in town. Um, but I think so, yeah. We've had a great week, two great away results. Let's finish it in style at home. And uh, Cash signed a new contract, I think it was the other day. Um, it's great to see him stay at the club as well. Huge. That's huge. And that's just clever business, I think, from the, the guys upstairs. Well, um, so often we've seen contracts run out, players sold on the cheap. Uh, so to get Cashy signed down for a long-term contract, uh, he deserves it. The form has been magnificent. How uh, he's been turned into a right-back, I'll never know, but he's doing amazingly. Uh, and if rumours are true about Everton and anybody else sniffing around him, getting him tied down on a long-term deal is great news. Michael, I'm here with Matthew from kind of the Behind the Lads sticker project. Um, talk to us about the project, Matthew. Why did you decide to do it? Bit of fun? Bit of fun, basically. I was, uh, we always listen to LBC and the election coming up and you keep hearing all the politicians saying to voters, can I count on you for your support? Yeah. And I thought, well, this is what a football club should be yeah. about, uh, supporting the team. And I thought, well, no one's done this before. Let's do. So I, I would have done rosettes, but it was a bit short notice. So I thought I can pump out a few stickers yeah, quickly. Brilliant. So I did one or two. I did a, a, a samba one, which was very popular. And uh, so I thought, Christ, I better, my, better get my uh, <laughs> skates on. And I'm working my way through the whole team. And I'm down to sort of the substitutes now. So uh, job done. I've got a couple of weeks, and I'll try and get through the rest of them for that. Which one's your favourite if you show the camera? Well, you know, if, you can't really if we do a close up. That's the whole point. We've got a Carvalho, who's like a son to me, <laughs> and, um, you know, Silver. We've just released Mr. So today. Uh, you've got to and have a bit of love for Lamucci. Lamucci there. And then if you're more at the, at the other end of the pitch, we've got a bit of Graben. Yatesy, who is sporting the Samba one on his car. Uh, you know, a bit of cash. And we've got to think of all the slogans for them. So it's, it's, it's quite difficult with the slogans because... You don't want to have like the dead in the ditch one or the better red than dead and all yeah. these sort of things. You know, you've exactly. got to be a little bit careful, but we've got a good one for Benelouan coming up, I think. Yeah. So do you want people on polling st at the polling stations on voting day to have these stickers around? Well, I, I, I think there might be a legal issue with sticking around the place, but uh, of course it's out of my control. You know, once, the, once people get them in their hands, Derby is a good place to put them, um, but any, anywhere really. Um, uh, walking down the street, actually, I saw a few Sambas against yeah, Corbins, and I have to brilliant. say the Sambas looked more appealing to me, and I thought a lot larger, a lot better. So I'm feeling like <laughs> any constituency where it's Samba, Corbin, it's a landslide. Exactly. I'm here with Zach before the game. Zach, it's your birthday next week. This Forest game today, your first ever Forest game. It's your birthday present. What do you think the score is going to be today? Four nil. Come on, you Reds.
full time here at the City Ground, finished 1 0 to Cardiff. Since they scored the goal in the first half, it really changed that first half. I mean, Forest were pretty poor after that. I mean, I thought we dominated the second half. Um, so many shots, but just not on target. We just couldn't seem to find the net. Nothing seemed to go in today. Um, no decision went our way either. Not even going to start about the officials. Just not good. But on to uh, onto the coming games. I mean, we've got to bounce back from this because it's one result and uh, it takes away a brilliant week, really. Ross, what did you make of that then? Yeah, I, th I think you've, you've, you've said it all. I mean, uh, when they score in the 30th minute, you hope that they'll create enough chances, and they did create chances. But unfortunately, um, you know, Cardiff were very defensively organised, and, and uh, you know, every ball in the box they dealt with, um, and sadly, that means it wasn't enough for Forrest. Yeah, I mean, the officials weren't great, but uh, I mean, at the end of the day, we've got to bounce back from it. it it's one result, and it, it kind of comes out of a quite a good week for Forest yeah, yeah. after after a really good win against QPR uh, absolutely and, and, and that's the championship all over I mean Cardiff know what they're doing they got out of the league uh, obviously very um, short while ago I mean Forest what, what is pleasing is that they, they are giving their, their all and that and that's really important but today it was just that, that final that final third and Cardiff they just know what they're doing their goalkeeper taking an age I mean I've got to get to work you know he, he was taking his time to get get the ball distributed and they just know what they're doing, they're so well drilled and Neil Harris is Neil Warner can disguise really. It is.